welcome back to my channel. Hope you all have a great day. I'm back with another vintage film from the Warner Archives 1964 musical romance My Fair Lady directed by George Pukar who also directed several iconic films such as 1933 Little Women, 1954's A Star is Born, and one of the most iconic films in cinematic history, 1938 Gone with the Wind, but apparently he was fired. But his original scenes are still in the film and I believe him and Selznick had some differences. Well, the tea is Kukar spent the next two years involved with pre-production, including the supervision of the numerous screen tests of actresses and she's portrayed Scarlett O'Hara. Kukar favored Hepburn for the role, but sells the concern about the reputation as box office poison. I don't know why he called her that. Wow. And would not consider her without a screen test and the actress refused to film one of others who did. Kukar preferred Paula Goddard, but her supposedly illicit relationship with Charlie Chaplin concerned sells it. Film executives and directors back in the days were always concerned about box office numbers and as well who played the roles. <laughs> it's starring Audrey Hepburn, I love her fashion, Rex Harrison, Gladys Cooper, Henry Daniel, Bill Shirley, Stanley Holloway, and many more. This story is about pompous photogenic professor Henry Higgins, Rex Harrison, who is sure of his abilities that he takes it upon himself to transform a coppery working class girl into someone who can pass for a cultured member of high society. His subject turns out to be lovely Eliza Doolittle Audrey Hepburn, who agrees to speech lessons to improve her job prosthetics. Higgins and Eliza clash and then form an unlikely bond that is threatened by the aristocratic suitor Jeremy Brett. <laughs> I am reacting to On the Street Where You Live performance by Jeremy Brett. But interesting fact though, he has a beautiful voice. I watched a few clips of his Sherlock Holmes TV series, but unfortunately he didn't get to sing the song on screen. They dubbed his voice and Bill Shirley was the singing voice of that song. From the early 20s until the mid 30s, the silent era was started to slowly die out and then they had the talkies. And it was actually quite common to do voice doubling. However, I will say that silent films never go out of style. Seriously, they don't. And they're my personal favorite too. But anyways, I still want to check out this performance. So let's jump right into My Fair Lady on the Street Where You Live. Roll the clip. <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll it. When she mentioned how her aunt bit off the spoon, she completely done me in. And my heart went on a journey to the moon when she told about her father and the gin. And I never saw a more enchanting forest than the moment when she shouted, Move your bloomin'. <laughs> uh, is, is Miss Doolittle in? Oh, shall I say he's calling? Freddie Einsmith Hill. Oh, she, she doesn't remember who I am. Tell her I'm the chap who was snake in that And we'll get the bees. That yes, is sir. so sweet. Like coming, sir? They're having dinner. I love Let's flowers. Oh, no, no, no. I want to drink in the street. With Especially you. that big bouquet. street before, but the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before. All at once am I several stories high, knowing I'm on the street where you live. Are there lilac trees in the heart of town? Such a dreamy voice. Stop and stare, they don't bother me. For they 
There's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by. I won't care if I can be here on the street where you live. Oh, sir. Such a beautiful song. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Miss Doolittle says she doesn't want to see anyone ever again. But why? She was unbelievable. So I've been told, sir. Is there any further message? Yes. Tell her that I'll wait. Oh, but it might be days, sir, even weeks. But don't you see? I'll be happier here. Such a sweet guy. Please come on my street to sing to me. <laughs> I don't mind. People stop and stare. They don't bother me. For there's nowhere else on earth that I would rather be. Let the time go by. I won't care if yes. I oh. can be here on the street where you I definitely need to watch this musical. I am totally hooked. This is my first time hearing this song from the film. No other words can describe how lovely this song is. Well written, although it wasn't the singing voice of Jeremy Brett, but he made it visually epic. And Bill Shirley is also an amazing singer. There's something about baritone singers that bring a smile to my face. I would not mind getting flowers and being serenaded by a baritone singer at my doorstep, waiting for me to come out. That is so romantic. I have a very interesting question for you guys. Who would you wish to see from the golden age, present, or both performing in front of your home? Personally, for me, I would love to see uh, either Cap Calloway, Mickey Rooney, Frank Sinatra, Seth MacFarlane, and Crown Royale Band. I love a combination of jazz and swing. I love the song, Hey Pachuco. <laughs> that would definitely bring a smile to my face from a long days of work. Just for a weekend, that would be so epic. I'm your host, Anika Chung, and I'll see you next time on my next music and film review. Love yourself always, and remember, be excellent to each other. Bye, right, guys. See you in the next picture. Cheers. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we, we lost it until you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. When I said I would never leave you. And you never will.